Iran? I've never been to Iran, no. I was actually born here in LA. We're luckily in Southern California, which is one of the most, you know, liberal, open-minded parts of the country. So, yeah, if I was an Iranian living in a, a different part of the United States, it'd probably be a lot more difficult. But living here, it's like, um, you know, we're one of the bigger, my, you know, minority populations within the area. So we don't see that much, you know, hatred or discrimination because we, we, there's really like, there's thousands, thousands of us, you know. So it all started actually, my uncle, uh, he moved to California for school. That actually happened before the Iranian Revolution. And then my grandfather didn't want the family to be separated. So my grandfather opened up a store here in Westwood. Uh, it was at that time, there was only two Persian owned businesses on the whole street. Now there's uh, 40 or 50. I'm not gonna sit here and say I agree with the travel ban. I don't, I, I'm not gonna say it was the right thing to do. We'll wait till your four, ter four years are up and then we'll see if the next president has the same idea or not. Now, the focus is more on the rioting and the problems that are going on in Iran today. And people are trying to get President Biden's attention to aid and assist and help the citizens of Iran who are being, you know, executed, uh, imprisoned for no reason. Before there was so much focus on Nothing comes in or out of Iran. Now we're trying to be like, hey guys, please go in there and help our people. There were protests here on Westwood Boulevard as well. Thousands of people. I see it on TV on the other side of the world and then I see it right in front of my shop. So it's crazy to see that that movement has gone global. And with that, you know, you can't help but feel a little proud that, you know, your people are standing up for what they believe in. I am hopeful, I am heartbroken, I feel helpless at times, many times, and sometimes I feel guilty because I can't go back, because I know going back for me means most likely being arrested at the border, so there is no use into it. So when I was 15, my family, we decided that we are not Muslims, that we really connected to to what the Bible was saying and um, decided to follow that path. One morning in, when I was 18, the intelligent agents, they came to our house. They, um, they took everything about Christianity or related to the Bible or anything like that. They took it and they also took my parents with them. Since I moved to the U.S., I realized there is so much misinformation about refugees or who the refugee is. Almost no one knows about it unless they have experienced life as a refugee. I heard a lot of sentences or a lot of communications to me that we are okay with you even though you are a refugee because we know your story. And that was, that was really hard for me to hear. There are so many other people like my story, that they just had to do it, had to become a refugee like me. I know even after this regime, there's a lot of work for Iran. People have been hurt for so long and hurt people hurt each other. When the change comes, there is a possibility of changing people too, that they can heal. And my hope is really to not live my life thinking that I can't make a difference and live a life that is impactful and not going to waste.